everyone. So there's a stranger in the video today. I look like a completely different person. Maybe you don't think so, but I don't know. This is a big change for me again. Um, I totally cut my hair off again. I feel like I can't win sometimes because every time I cut my hair really short, my mom's like, why did you cut your hair short? And you know, grow your hair out and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, yeah, I know mom, I'm gonna grow it out. And then I cut it all off again because I'm very impulsive with my hair. And like, I know some people get all like, Oh my gosh, I can't cut my hair. I can't believe you cut that much off. You're so brave. But like, I'm really not all that attached to it. Yes, it takes me forever to grow it out, but it will grow out. And like, I mean, there are bigger problems in life. So whatever. Um, basically, I cut it off just totally impulsively. I went to the hairdressers. I just was going to get a trim. And then I got there and I was like, you know, I just feel like looking cool. Is that too much to ask? So, you know, she cut my hair off. Whatever. Um... I said whatever a lot. So I have basically a pixie cut on this side. It's even shorter than it was the first time I got the asymmetrical cut done. So it's pretty much, it looks kind of straight, but there's a little bit of a texture to it. Um, and then on this side, she kept it a little bit longer than it was previous. So it's very big and full on this side and just short on this side. Um, and it, I'll do a quick little spin for you here. So that's what it looks like. As well, I got new glasses. So these glasses are by um, Dior. So Christian Dior. And I think they're neat. They're just kind of black. And they have this little tortoiseshell kind of accent on both sides. And they're just like a nice, interesting shape. And then looking down at the earpieces, once again, there's like the tortoiseshell there. And then along like the entire sort of inside. So when I put them on, you can see that detailing just around the frame. And... Yeah, so I've been wearing them a lot more because I like them. So, you know, that's how it is. Um, I'm going to go through some of my favorites this month. Sorry, I'm just kicking stuff that I dropped on the floor. Um, yeah, so I'll go through my favorites for February. February was really short. I don't know how people have so many favorites because there was only 28 days. So I just kind of went through the same things over and over and over again. So I'll show you those, and then at the end of the video, I'll just kind of talk a little bit about some products that I bought recently. Um, haven't tried them out that much, but I just thought they were neat and I wanted to show them. So, jumping right in, I'm going to start with eyes because everything pretty much this month was like eyes for me. So once again, I've been loving my Makeup Forever Aqua Cream. Um, what is this called? I don't know. I guess it's just called Aqua Cream for eyes. And this is in the shade number two. And it's just this pretty shimmery um, gray, silvery, uh, taupe kind of brown shade. Um, very pretty. I thought initially it was kind of scary to me because, I don't know, I find like grays can look like very, like dirty, like, I don't know. Maybe that's a bad description. I just feel like it's like gray makeup is very like, I just want to put thick dark eyeliner on and look all grunge or whatever, but this is a very neutral, pretty shade for the daytime, and just that hint of shimmer really helps to brighten the eye. If I want to add a little bit more definition, I'll add in my quad here, Satin Taupe in the crease, or I'll add Mystery as sort of a eyeshadow eyeliner, and that's very pretty. The other sort of eyeshadow that I've been going to is in my Chanel quad, and I'm going to butcher the name of this, and it's like the quad here, and the name is right there, so it looks like a closion or a closion. I don't know. I mean, it has the accent on it, so it's definitely starting with an A, but the rest is just, you know, bleh. So I'll open it up, and it looks like this, and it comes with like a mirror. So, looks like that, and it comes with this eggplant purple, and you can just see the sheen on that, and it goes on so nicely and so easy to blend, very seamless. This color here is just a nice sort of toasted almond color. This one here is a pretty um, apricot peachy pink, and then the top corner right here is a very just glittery um, like a gold glitter sort of color. Um, yeah, it's like a peachy peachy gold right there. And I find that's very pretty and I've been kind of wearing all four of those colors in one look. And then using an eyeliner, um, a purple eyeliner, the Urban Decay 
24-7 glide on eye pencil in the color Empire which I got in one of those like sets with a bunch of mini ones so this is just a pretty um, almost like an eggplant but more indigo blue sort of leaning a little bit more that way and that looks really pretty with that in terms of lips I've been liking the Revlon lip butter in the woo voice crack <clears throat> Excuse me. Revlon Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a very berry, um, it's like a very sheer um, color with a little bit of some shimmer in it. Then, for face, Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. Very creamy, good coverage, very brightening, has a little bit of some kind of shimmer particles in it. Some people don't like that because they find it draws sort of attention to their flaws, but you know, um, for me I guess I have some redness and I have like some things that I want to be brightened and I, I like this. The next one, Benefits Eye Bright, Bright Pencil. Can't speak today. Um, I've been using this a lot more than usual, which I've talked about before so I won't go into detail. In terms of hair, coconut oil, huge container, great as a deep treatment for your hair and great for second, third, fourth, whatever day hair. Um, to make it, to give it to some shine, to break up any clumps and to kind of just smooth over frizz. So that's been a hit as well. The Kinky Curly, not today. I just love this stuff. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. I need to take a sip of tea. Okay, so I bought this Urban Decay Green Hour Great an hour. What am I talking about? <sighs> Oz the Great and Powerful sort of palette. And I thought this was really neat. I was like deb debating like do I want to buy the Naked palette? Because I have, you know, everyone talks about the Naked palette. You know, get over it. You know, it's been out forever. But it's a great palette. So I've always wanted to buy it. But I can never decide between Naked 1, Naked 2. Um, so anyway, in the end I didn't end up buying it. And I ended up buying this instead. So this comes in one of those, um, you know, build it yourself palettes that they release where you can take out all of it. It has this huge mirror. So, let's hope the eyeliner doesn't fall out. Looks like that. And you can remove each of these and put different eyeshadows in um, when they're done or if you want to swap them out. And it comes with a bunch of colors. I can't remember the name. I don't have the card with me that it comes with. And it also comes with um, a lip. There it goes. Um, comes with a lip pencil, which is red. But I wanted to kind of talk about the eyeshadows. So this comes with just, you know, like the two shades of green that you can see here. A lighter one and sort of a darker one. A gold, a kind of glittery, silvery black. Um, this really pretty sort of plum brown. Uh, more of a sort of taupe color here. And then a very warm brown in the center right. And then... Um, over here is just sort of like a pretty vanilla color with a very pretty sort of sheen to it. Um, and that's been, you know, I thought that was really neat and really pretty wearable colors um, for day or night. And you can get a lot of good looks out of it. And I decided to get it just because I liked the textures of it. So some of them are more of like a satin finish. Some of them, um, I don't, I wouldn't say any of them are completely matte. Actually, yeah, maybe one of them is completely matte. Um, some of them are definitely more glittery, shimmery, um, some are just have a nice sheen, and it's just I feel like you can get a lot of different looks with this palette, which is why I bought it. And then, three other things that I wanted to show you, um, two lips, lip products. So these are both from Bite, and I've never tried Bite before, but I saw this on just the display, and it was really pretty. So this is the Matte Cream Lipstick, and this is in the... Uh, lilac shade so I can't open it and look how vibrant this color is and I'm kind of wearing this right now but if I were to apply it kind of from the tube you can see kind of how it's just gonna be a bad application just pigmented this is and it's so brightening I think this is gonna be really pretty for spring and then on a similar note this is the bite um, high pigment pencil in the shade Corvina and this is just sort of like a bright pink color 
and it looks, you know, it might look similar to the one that I just put on, but I'll swatch them sort of side by side, and you can see there's a, a subtle difference between the two colors. So one is obviously more pink and berry colored, and the other one is more purple. So there they are right there, the bottom one being Corvina and the top one being Lilac. So I think that those two colors are going to be really pretty for the springtime. And then I saw, um, I took a Pilates class on the weekend, and the instructor had um, her toes done and they looked amazing like the color it was just beautiful and I wanted to Im immediately go out and buy that color and I she didn't know what the shade was called she just knew it was OPI and after sort of looking and looking through all of the polishes online that I could find um, I think the one that it was was um, Fly from the Nicki Minaj collection 2012 I think that was spring um, so I can't obviously find that polish anywhere and I don't really want to order online and all that jazz so I've been looking for dupes and I haven't been able to find anything very good until I went to Sephora and I found this Sephora X polish so this is just a super vibrant teal blue and the camera's not really doing it justice but it's just so pretty and you can just imagine what that would look like on nails um, just really pretty and the quality of this polish is really good. I mean, I only needed one coat to get a complete sort of opaque finish on the nail. So I just did one coat and a top coat and I was done. So, you know, I'd be, I'd be curious in trying more from this line because it's really quite good. And the brush is just is great as well. It's a nice size. So really pretty teal polish. And I don't normally like blues. So that's pretty much it. Um... Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, maybe I'll do an outfit of the day. This is my work kind of outfit. No, I don't know. But, uh, uh, I guess I'll just go through it anyway because this is kind of what I wore to work today and I might as well show you. So I'm just wearing this blazer I got from, I don't know, like a little boutique shop in, in Toronto. And the brand is Audrey. And I just think it's really neat. It's a nice sort of uh, shape. It has some sort of ruching at the elbows and kind of like a nice little like flap there. And if I stand on the chair, the shirt is from Gap. It's like picking up the light and making me look like an angel, but whatever. So, sorry, I just flashed everyone there. Um, yeah, and it just has kind of these like beads on it. I got this for Christmas last year. Um, from the Gap, and then I'm just wearing the gray pants that I always wear to work because I don't have a lot of work pants, and those are from Club Monaco. So that's it for this video. Super duper long for not that much. I just talk a lot. So that's it. Once again, let me know if you have any other video requests, and I'll try my best to do them. I've been pretty busy working all day, and it gets dark at night. So hopefully the weather's changing, and you know, there will be more light, and I can film more. So, hope everyone's doing well, and until next time, bye!